El Huascarán, the highest peak in the Peruvian Andes. This snowy landscape has been venerated since the beginnings of time. It is the dwelling place of the Apus, the spirits of the earth. 4,000 years ago, the so-called formative stage began in the Andes. The inhabitants built large ceremonial complexes that received people who came in search of knowledge. The most important of these complexes was Chavín de Huanta, which was erected on this sacred land approximately when Pharaoh Ramses II ruled Egypt and the Olmec civilization was flourishing in Mexico. Thanks to a complicated liturgy, impressive staging, and the use of hallucinogenic substances, the priests managed to convince the people that they were superior beings. They proclaimed themselves the ambassadors of the gods and exercised power for 800 years without a need for an army. The monument was buried by a great avalanche in 1945. Every year, archaeological excavation work is carried out under the direction of Dr. John Rick, a professor at Stanford University. Chavín de Huantar lies at the foot of the White Mountains of the Peruvian Andes, between the Mosna and Huachexa rivers. Its influence reached beyond the Andean region. Este es un lugar enigmático. Aquí, en el corazón de los Andes peruanos, hace 3.300 años sucedió algo extraordinario. Se consolidó la desigualdad social que se inició en el arcaico. Hasta esta plaza, semi-hundida, llegaban peregrinos desde muy lejos, a veces a mil kilómetros de distancia. Este ciclopio centro ceremonial se convirtió en el teatro del más allá, un escenario colosal al servicio de unos gobernantes teocráticos que se mantuvieron en el poder durante siglos. Pero qué obra dramática era la que representaban aquí. Eso es justamente lo que nos proponemos desvelar. ¿Qué realidad se escondía detrás de sus bambalinas pétreas? 